Hello, my friend. It's a good thing if you can worry about time, but you need to learn to worry about time in the right way. If you worry about time running out or you worry about not having used your time very well, turn it around and start a conversation with yourself about what your time so far has been like in your life. How you have used your time throughout that period you have already lived. And then think about when your time will finish, when it will stop, when you come to the end of that road. And be aware of how much road you think there is left and how much pressure there is on you to start fully living in that time and fully appreciating this time that has been given to you and that is available to you to do with what you think is best and what you want. So have some time set aside to think about time, about your time, how you own your time or how you let time bully you or push you or how you run away from time for that matter. Own your time, have it, feel it, feel the moment. Feel what you want to do with it and where you want to go with it. How you want to be in this time still open to you, still ready for you to mould it and produce it into something that is shaped artfully in a way that makes you feel like you've done something good with it. What can you do with your time? What would you like to do with your time? How are you going to reshape your life so that your direction in life changes in such a way that where you're going you can live in this new way, in this aware way of using time, of being time, of feeling time, of eating time. It is a bit like reading a book, isn't it? You start at the beginning and you might rush it and then you might get a little bored in the middle, but when you get towards the end, you become very aware of what is still left of the book and you might be in a hurry to get to the end and know the ending or you might actually begin to appreciate that book and know that it is of value and that you need to pay attention to it and that it will come to its end. Of course you can reread the book but you can't relive your life. Remember that my friend. Remember it is now you have to do that thinking. It's no good saying, I am so overburdened by things, I have no time. If that is the case, my friend, you have got to unburden yourself and you've got to make some time. You've got to create some space in that time available for you to think and feel and sense and breathe and live and come to your senses and come to the realization of what you want to make of your time on earth. That matters most of all. So there are no excuses. That's just how it is. You're going to have to do that and you will do it because it's your life and nobody else's. So I wish you a good meditation on time 
and some good attention paid to yourself and your life. Be well in time, my friend. Be well.